Hi, welcome to the Hottie Toddy Reader Spotlight brought to you by University Libraries. I'm Ashley Dees and today I'm joined by Sarah Campbell and Cody Morrison. Sarah is an instructor with the School of Education and Cody is the book buyer at our local bookshop. Today they're going to discuss the book City of Thieves and they're going to tell us what they found so interesting about it and why the members of the UM community should read it. So I think you should start and tell us why you recommended it to me. Sure. Um, well, I just, uh, I'm just i kind of a sucker for any kind of um, book that's set somewhere. You get the story of somebody else's life and somebody else's experience in another place that you're not, have no familiarity with. So um, that sort of drew me to it. And uh, and also like the idea that um, when you first open the story, like we were talking earlier, um, the author, David Benioff, is uh, has a backstory to this and the fact that his grandfather was in, it's set in World War II in Leningrad, the siege of Leningrad, as the Germans are invading the city. And he, there's an opening chapter where he's a flailing screenwriter and decides he wants to go back and see his grandfather and talk to him about his days in Leningrad. And so there's a short little snippet where he gives you this history of his grandfather and recording these stories and it goes right into the right into the meat of the of the novel. And so it just sort of that's a nice little teaser to bring you in and then it goes back into nineteen forties uh, Leningrad and and you really get kind of sucked into it. Yeah, I agree with you. I really um, enjoyed feeling like I was at that table with the grandparents. I have a 93 year old grandmother and she talks about the way things used to be. And you know, she, she has a whole different world to share with me than I could ever know. Um, and so I, I felt like I got that little piece, that little fabric of history kind of brought to the table. You know, I got to kind of get close to it. Um, and I also really enjoyed, I, I, I was surprised, I guess, that I really enjoyed following this young kid. You know, I teach high schoolers. Um, and, and seeing that bent for adventure that young men have, you know, seeing it played out, seeing him be brave and be bold and kind of in um, really difficult uh, conditions. Um, and, and, then, and then the spark, the love spark, you know, uh, that happens in the book is it's a love story. Oh, yeah, you know, I, that, could get, that could keep me going, you know. And, and then, um, you know, there were these uh, kind of surprise elements of, of, of darkness and somehow there was a comical lift to it each time. There's always these moments of um, sheer terror that somehow he, he laces with a laugh. And I don't know how in the world he does that. And, and so I, I really could fly through the book, you know. Um, I just, I didn't want to put it down. Yeah, it just really transports you to that. Even though it's horrific because it's war and, mm -hmm. you know, it starts out that first sentence or so. He says, I've never been so hungry or so cold mm -hmm. and you really experience everything they're going through during the siege and the terribleness of war and, and violence and you know you want to learn something like I was saying that's what sort of drew me in the first place that in his family history but you're not going to keep reading about uh, just you know war and famine and, and yeah. terrible things. As I've gotten older I've been much more curious and much more excited to hear the older stories and see how they are they have such similar um, problems and solutions and such similar experiences to mine. Um, but certainly I think for the for the Ole Miss students, you know, I think it's a shoe in and the, the faculty or staff, you know, goodness, you know, you'll, you'll just love it. Um, he is the writer for Game of Thrones. Uh, yes. You know, so so I think um, that there, there are some things you're going to love about Game of Thrones that you're going to see. You know, again, like having this humor when you wouldn't expect it maybe, you know, right. having this big drama, these dramatic moments. You know where you're kind of leaning in on edge and you, know, you, you get a little bit of that um, uh, and you don't necessarily get the ending that you want I think that's um, important yeah. uh, now you, you don't want to be insulted as an audience member right or, or as a <laughs> reader right. and he doesn't insult you but you know he makes you he makes you work to love the entire story because yeah. you, you can't you can't get everything that's right, right. you know yeah. can't have everything that's, that's so I think I for, like the book yeah, too. you don't want mm -hmm, such a tidy balance ending that it's, it feels you know forced contrived or too, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, too fake so. but yeah i think i think certainly college students could um really appreciate because they're they're really kind of getting maybe more into some of the history pieces and they're kind of seeing you know you know how history repeats itself and you know how how one person's experience back then really could 
look like today. If you're interested in reading City of Thieves, please come by the J.D. Williams Library and check out a copy. Thank you.